hello everyone welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can download and install the postgresql onto your mac and also install the pg admin for to interact with your data so for that just go to your favorite browser and source for download postgresql and just go to this first link from postgresql.org and here you can see option for mac os so just click on that and just click on this download the installer so here you can see the latest version of postgresql so let me just click on download button here so this should download the dmg file for installing the postgresql so once this dmg file is downloaded so let me just go into the finder and if i just double click onto this dmg file so this should open this package so just double click onto this one so this should open the installer so let me just click on open and enter the password of your mac so you can see so the installer has been started so let me just click on next so just click on next and so this will automatically install this post sql server pg admin 4 in the command line tool so let me just click on next keeping all the defaults and you just need to put the master password so i will just put demo one two or you can just you know keep your password according to your wish and just click on next the port as default you can just keep it and just next and this if you just click on next so this would now install the postgresql into your system so here you can already see on background the postgresql server is running and the postgresql setup has been completed so we don't need to download and install other tools so i will untick this stack builder and if i just click on finish so this should finish installing the postgresql into our system so let me just close everything from here so let me just go into the launch pad and here you can see the pg admin 4 so just click on that so this has been installed while installing the postgresql so let me just clear this notification so this is the basic interface of the pg admin 4 so if i just click on server so you can see so this will ask for the master password which we have set while installing the postgres so in my case it's demo 12 so just click enter so now this should open this databases here so from here so we can create the databases so this is the default database uh postgres but if you want to create new one so you can just uh, right click onto this databases and just click on create database so here let me just give the name something like demo and if you just click onto this sql so this will show the query required for creating the database so it's always better to see the sql so that you know you will be proficient in the query language as well so let me just keep it demo and if i just click on save so this will create the database demo here so inside here so if you want to create the table and insert the data so just go into this schemas here and if you just scroll down so you will be able to see these tables so right click onto the table and click and create and create the table so let me just name something like student table and on columns so we can add something like id so let me keep it serial so that it will automatically generate and you can make it primary key as well so let me just again click on plus sign here and next one i want to give is name and let me call it text the database type is text and the another one is address so let me just write address and let me keep it text on data type and if i just see on this sql so you can see so this is how you create the table by using the query so let me just go on to this general again and if i just click on save so this will create the student table here so if you just right click here and click on this view and all rows so this will show all the columns on this table and there's no any data so to insert the data again right click onto this student and go into the script and click on insert script so this will generate the uh, script for us to insert the data so since we have kept the id as auto generated by mentioning serial so we didn't need this so just clear this one as well and instead of this what so let me just open the bracket and give some name like john and give some address like so you just open the one bracket only so let me just give something like usa and if i just execute this command so you can just execute the query from here so just execute this query so the query written successfully so now again if i just right click onto this one and go into this view and edit data and click on all rows so this will show the data here so this is the data which we have just added into our table so this is how you basically uh, perform the operation onto your postgresql 
table and databases. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, be sure to like, share and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.